In a second, I will show you exactly what it takes to go from boring to chill and funny and basically being a social butterfly. But before that, my name is Jan and I went from top levels of social anxiety to basically being a social butterfly myself. So I can teach you how to do that, okay? So what's the difference between you or basically what's the difference between a person that lacks conversational skills and a person that doesn't? What is the the basic difference, like except from obviously the conversational skills, like why did why are those people communicating well and why are those people not communicating well? It wasn't like they shoot up out of the wound and they were speaking already like motherfucker. It wasn't like that. It wasn't DNA and the genes. It isn't anything like that. It isn't being extroverted. It's not being. It's just basically a positive feedback loop. How it works is basically that when they got born, let's just say that I don't know, they had beautiful eyes when they were kids, so they were really cute. So, so because of that, many kids like them more because when you're more attractive, more people like you. And then if they like them more, then those, don't, then those people spoke even more. And because they spoke and spoke and spoke and spoke and spoke and talked to many people and basically everyone came to like them because they spoke much, much more than you probably, or that basically boring people do. So this is the difference between me and you, is that I had time for practice. And it isn't like I had time for practice for my 16 years of life, no, it was actually pretty shit before, because, well, I don't know, I just got born into a negative feedback loop, and that's not something to be like, oh no, but I, no, I was not lucky. So basically, like, what's the difference? The difference is getting born into a negative or positive feedback loop, okay? So now we cannot really change how did our childhood look like, but here is what we can change. So we, the thing is that in like the next, I don't know, 16 years, you would probably develop the same skills that a 16 year old can if you actually put a lot of practice because social skills mostly are just practice and feedback. Okay, so as long as you practice, you will master social skills after some time. Maybe you will be 80 years old when you master, but basically what's the fun in that, yeah? So we do not just want to practice. We want to speed up the process so that we can become social butterflies much faster, so that we can have friends when we're basically young, okay? So how do you do that? Well, you can firstly speed up the process by not only going and talking, but also like consciously trying to practice. So do not view always talking as just talking. Often try to view talking as practice. And to view them, to view talking as practice, you basically just gotta, well, you go up to that person, okay? You speak and then the conversations end. Uh, the, the conversation ends, okay? So now you pull up a fucking notebook and you write, okay, I did this wrong, this wrong, uh, this good, this good, this wrong, this wrong. It's better to also write the good ones because then you will just feel like a stupid person. Uh, and yeah, so you basically write, okay, I, I this, this joke was really bad. Okay, this was nice, 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 but, 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 I gotta correct this, this, this. And then you, and then after this, you write, Okay, I can solve this like that, solve this like that, solve this like that, solve this like that. And this will already speed up the process, so you can go from that to fucking that already. But now you can speed up the process even fucking faster. And this will as well speed up the process really much, okay? Because first, obviously, you gotta do the trick with writing and writing problems and solutions. But now this is also key to just basically, well, this is what fixed my social skills, honestly. It is basically just going and learning and reading books and watching videos and basically doing research on what this skill of social skills is. Because many people will tell you that no, watching social skills will actually never improve, watching social skills videos will never improve your social skills. But the thing is that if you can learn from it, the basic, basically tricks that you would maybe even take months for you to actually figure out with this, well, uh, what? With this, yeah, with, with this feedback, uh, with, with this feedback, fuck, 
with this feedback practice, okay? So basically with those writing notes, it will probably take you months to figure out that actually smiling makes other people like you more. But now you can watch a video from, I don't know, for example, my channel, and then you will learn that smiling actually makes other people like you more. And you can start that from now. So you don't need to wait until you're, I don't know, 10 months into your social skills journey, okay? So there are many tricks to learn. And basically, as I said, this is how you can go without any feedback with just, yeah? So this is like, it will take you 15 years. But now with this, this is how it is with those notes where we're basically solving the problem that you, well, because sometimes you feel like you just interacted wrongly. So now you can solve this, okay? So you go like that. And now with this, you go like fucking that. And this is basically how I improve my social skills in just a few months. So if you'd want to go like that, go to the first thing in the description and I can teach you there like step by step, give you a clear framework on how can you get from basically wherever you are in your journey to being a social butterfly, being a social person, having many friends, having many close friends, okay? So go see it if you like that.